Hi Julie here, so why is Dr Chan's GCSE Total Recall system so powerful and why am I always going on about his memory techniques? Well to put it simply, I first came across these sort of uh, memory techniques over 10 years ago when I, a uh, top memory champion taught me the first 10 numbers of pi. And as you can see I'm not looking at anything now by the camera, it was over 10 years ago and I can tell you that those 10 numbers were 14159265353. How do I know that? I'm not super brainy and I certainly haven't got a photographic memory. But what I am able to do is adapt the type of memory uh, techniques that are in the Dr. Chan's GCSE Total Recall system. And that's how I've learnt it. And basically the quick story and the way that I remember it by images is by walking into a school, seeing a clock with quarter past two on it, which is the 1415. I walk through the door and there's a balloon which looks like the number nine coming towards me. There's a two that looks like a swan, so that's a nine two. And then at the bottom of the room, at the hall in, in my story, there's a 65 year old man marrying a 35 year old woman. And that's how I still remember, over 10 years ago, the first 10 numbers of pi. I could also tell you the first 12 countries to join the EU, or the common market as it was then. And you'll see how, lo how old this particular memory trick is, or how long ago, sorry, that I learned this, when I, you get to the end of my story, all right? So I'll just tell you what they are first of all. There's Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Portugal, UK and Spain. Wow, how do I know that so quickly? And as you can see, I'm looking at nothing whatsoever other than the screen in front of me or on my phone. The way I know that is by another story. I have got a big bell in the one room because I go through different rooms for this story in my house. It's in the house I used to live in. There's a big bell in there, which prompts me to think of Belgium. In the next room, when I enter there, there's the smell of bacon, frying. And that's to remind me Denmark, because obviously Denmark's associated with bacon. Then in the next room, there's a pink um, Eiffel Tower with yellow spots. That prompts me to think of France. In the next room, there's Boris Becker, the German tennis player. That makes me think of Germany. Then I come out into the hall, and on the table in the hall, there's a Greece CD, which reminds me of Greece. In the next one then, I have got, I've got Terry Wogan in there, but obviously for younger people you need to think of any, you might want to think of Westlife or something. But they're in that room and that's to remind me of, Italy, of, of Ireland. Then I go into the next room and there's a, an ice cream seller selling the most lovely, delicious um, Italian ice cream, so that's Italy. There's a crackling radio in the next one, which is Luxembourg. And then in the last room, which is upstairs in my house, there were people playing tennis over a net and that reminds me of Netherlands. As I go down the stairs in my house, then I go into the kitchen and there's a big, huge, expensive glass of port. In fact, this port costs £65. And that reminds me of, yes, you might have got it by now, Portugal. And the next part is when you realise how long ago I learned this memory technique. Because in the next one, you've got Tony Blair, who was the then Prime Minister. And as you know, there's been a few Prime Ministers since then. And he's holding a red flag and through that is a bull coming from Spain. And that's how I remember the first 12 countries to join the EU, which is clever. Huh? But it's not clever really, because all you're doing is turning tricky information or numbers into images or stories instead. And what that does, it's not only just easier to remember for your exams or for a presentation if you're doing it work, because trust me, you don't just need to use GCSE uh, just use this technique for GCSE. The total recall system that Dr. Chan teaches, you can use for any age. My mother uses it in her 80s. So you can do it from 8 to 88, it doesn't really matter. But the important thing is that it stores it into your long-term memory, meaning that you will remember that forever as long as that story is powerful enough in your mind. All right, so that's given you a brief insight into why the memory techniques in the Dr. Chan GCSE Total Recall System are so powerful and why I recommend you go out and get the book. Um, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. I will say I'm going to pop my affiliate link at the bottom. If you click it, there is a chance I could get paid a commission, but you won't pay any more whatsoever for the book. It'll just be the product owner will pay me direct any commissions due. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that quick insight into the Dr. Chan Total Recall System. And I say I strongly urge you to buy the book. And I've got loads more videos on the, these memory techniques that you can find under my Dr. Chan playlist on my channel. That's it for this video. See you on the next one.